we have these millions of data points which we are receiving from ZDX, which are running on the user's device. We are getting device health, application health, network health. Uh, why not correlate these data points and bubble up hotspots, problem areas in your infrastructure based on that data out of the box without you defining or configuring any probes. So that's what the incidents dashboard feature does. It looks at that data points, it runs uh, machine learning algorithms on it to find those anomalies, to find out those issues which, de which are deviating from the baseline and bubble that up in the dashboard. So let's take a look at that. So what you're seeing here is the incident dashboard and all of the different types of problem we can detect out of the box. We can detect a device issues. We can detect Wi-Fi hotspots in your infrastructure where a certain SSID, SSID where the users are connected to are impacted. We could we can find out, um, you know, there if there are times when there's a Zscaler outage or maybe to rule it out a lot of times the later that this isn't a Zscaler issue, uh, we can leverage this, uh, this feature. Application outage, there were some recent outages. Rohit wrote, wrote a blog about it, but Microsoft Office 365, ServiceNow outage. Now, if you have those applications configured um, to, to test for in ZDX, we are testing those applications from your user's perspective. And even before a lot of times, like we can tell you that, hey, there is a application outage which you are seeing in infrastructure, right? Uh, with, with these features. So in, in this example, what we are seeing is that, you know, uh, a Wi-Fi, you know, we are seeing that we can detect Wi-Fi problems, last mile ISP issues, intermediate ISP issues, Zscaler issues, if there are any, uh, and then application outage. So now moving on in this same example, I would like to zoom in on the one of the Wi-Fi problems, right? Uh, so when you look at the Wi-Fi dashboard, we are showing different epicenters of the problem. So in this example, you know, like, okay, there's a Wi-Fi problem, but what is the epicenter? What is the area where a lot of the users are impacted. So we go to the epicenter here. In this case, uh, this is an SSID in San Jose. Uh, and I click on it. I want to see more details about this incident, right? So I click on view more details. It takes me to more details page. It's showing me uh, the geographic location and all of the users which are impacted by this incident, right? As I scroll down, I can see the specific access point uh, that's on the top left corner to which I can correlate uh, all of these problems to. I have other uh, nitty gritty details like Wi-Fi access uh, point latency, packet loss, jitter, and you name it, right? Wi-Fi signal strength, uh, the channel utilization. Now, you may ask, great, you're able to detect all of these problems. Give me a little bit of uh, you know, what's going on in the background? How are you detecting that, right? So there are multiple data points. This is just a small list of data points which we leverage. But let's take a look at an example here. I won't go through all of these, but an application issue, right? So you have, uh, we look at at least 50 devices to be impacted, you know, uh, you know, that's how we came, that's the number we came up with. Um, but what are the data points we are looking at? We are looking at HTTP errors. Did the application suddenly start throwing some errors? Uh, did the number of redirects go into the application change? Did the application score degrade? And was there network latency? So we look at multiple different things, maybe not in that order, but a variation of that, look at the trend. And when we deviate from that trend, we try to see if there's a problem. 